In the late 1600s, rival imperial powers, Spain and England, shared a border near what became South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Any slave who escaped to Florida from the British colonies was granted their freedom. For the enslaved, Spanish Florida became the first promised land. In 1738, a small group of black people created their own town near St. Augustine. They called it Fort Mose, the first all-black settlement in what is now the United States. Enslaved folk in South Carolina realized that if they reach Florida that is not controlled by the English, perhaps they can seek refuge. 300 miles north of Fort Mose, near the Stono River just outside of Charleston, word of the free town to the south reached a group of slaves. This inspired one of the largest slave revolts in the history of the British colonies. One morning in 1739, a group of about 20 black men set out before dawn. As they traveled, they set fire to plantations. Nearly 100 slaves joined them for the journey. When word of the fugitives' rebellion spread, local militiamen were mobilized and a brutal battle ensued. Many were killed in the clash, and black rebels, who were later captured, were tried and beheaded in an effort to instill fear. To discourage future rebellions, harsh new slave laws were imposed, including forbidding teaching slaves to read. Within a year, British colonial forces seized Florida from Spain, and Fort Mose was destroyed. But the Stono Rebellion wouldn't be the last time that enslaved black people in the British colonies risked everything to gain their freedom. The drive among black people to end their enslavement would never die.